Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. In this video, we are going to have a discussion of the characters of the famous play The Life of Galileo written by a famous German playwright Bertolt Brecht. The first character, Galileo. Galileo, the protagonist of the play, was a teacher, lecturer at Padua University where he specialized in using mathematics to prove astronomical models. He was a robust man full of energy and endowed with a contrarian nature. He was also a talented and engaging teacher with a knack for making complicated topics easy to understand. Though he was a devout Catholic, he liked to question things which antagonized the, the Catholic Church. The primary object of, the, of his questioning of the Aristotelian model, a centuries-old doctrine or the doctrine that said that Earth existed at the nature of the universe, infuriated the church. He instead, he instead upheld the Copernicus model, which placed the sun at the center of the solar system, with the Earth revolving around it. As the story unfolds, Galileo finds himself able to prove unequivocally that Copernicus was right but he faces the difficult task of convincing the church that centuries of religious teachings were absolutely wrong. He knew that if he went against the church, his research would also be smothered. He even feels that there would be research at all. If he is alive, he can prove his findings at a later stage. Moreover, he was a man of taste. He loved food, beauty, and life itself. He had a daughter by the name of Virginia who was supposed to be married to Ludovico but he fails to arrange a marriage to his daughter. He does research persistently and publishes many papers, many papers. He dictates his research papers and books to his daughter because he loses his eyesight partially. When he was shown instruments, he recounted what he had researched openly. He was openly criticized by the scientific community across the world due to his recantation. The next character is Virginia. Virginia, the daughter of Galileo, is loyal and caring to her father regardless of many ways that his actions negatively affect, affect her throughout the play. Virginia is also loyal and faithful to the Catholic Church no matter how her father's theories challenge its principles. Virginia becomes engaged to Ludovico and looks forward to her impending nuptials or nuptials. She has an emotional attachment to Ludovico and is disappointed by the broken engagement she has to remain with her father as a companion and caretaker. She prepares tasty food as desired by his father, by her father. In fact, she's the guiding star during his old age under the supervision of the church. She is an obedient daughter who is always at the service of her father, even helps him with his work. The next character is here, Andy Sati. At the beginning of the play, Andy Sarti is a small boy, the son of Mrs. Sarti, who works as a housekeeper at Galileo's house. Galileo has taken him as a student and an errant boy. As he grows up, Andy takes on the role of an assistant and learns astronomy from Galileo, his teacher. He is a diligent student of Galileo. He is shocked by Galileo's recantation. He leaves Galileo to pursue his studies elsewhere. Towards the end of the play, he returns to visit Galileo, who is under house arrest. Andrew regains his faith in Galileo when he discovers that the astronomer has finished another treatise or another treatise in secret. Andrew is given the chance to carry on Galileo's legacy when he takes the book to another country for publication. He becomes a scientist who searches for truth. He encourages others to do the same with their own observations. Next character, Segredo. Segredo observes astronomical phenomena 
with Galileo. He serves as an assistant in his scientific research. He comprehends the impl their implications for the Catholic Church. He asks Galileo whether he should proceed with his findings, knowing that the church will not receive them well. He remains a faithful assistant to Galileo throughout his research until Galileo recounts his teachings. Next character, Fadazoni. Fadazoni is a lens grinder for the telescope that Galileo designed. He eventually becomes an assistant in Galileo's research. He participates in the research with Galileo but he is not educated in the university manner. His inability to speak Latin, his, though his ability to comprehend astronomy, so his inability to speak Latin is one of the reasons that Galileo chooses to write in the common language. He is shocked and disappointed by Galileo's recantation. He also feels betrayed by the astronomer's inability to defend his research. Next character, Fulgenzio. Fulgenzio, Fulgenzio, the little monk. Fulgenzio, the little monk, is a clergyman. He is a son of peasants. He is fascinated by Galileo's astronomical research. He assists Galileo on some of his projects. Even though he observes the same phenomena as Galileo and agrees with his findings, the little, monk agree, the little monk argues that the decree against Copernic Copernican cosmology is beneficial for the common people whose lives would be would lose whose lives would lose meaning without religion. Next character, Ludovico Marsili. Ludovico Marsili is a young member of a noble Italian family. His mother wishes for him to broaden his education by studying science with Galileo. Thus, Ludovico engages Galileo as a tutor. Ludovico is not interested in science. He has little passion for it, but he maintains a relationship with Galileo and Virginia, with whom he eventually becomes engaged. Ludovico views the engagement as a mutually beneficial arrangement. Finally, he breaks the engagement when his relationship with Galileo becomes disadvantageous. Ludovico, as a nobleman loyal to the church, disapproves of Galileo's teachings. Moreover, he feels that Galileo's findings are a challenge to the teachings of the church and the social order. Cardinal Barberini Cardinal Barberini is one of the two cardinals he is tasked with delivering the Pope's decree against Copernican cosmology to Galileo. Cardinal Barberini sparks a friendly scientific debate with Galileo before Cardinal Bellarmine communicates the warning to Galileo. He is trained as a mathematician. He is interested in science. He supports Galileo's research even in the first years after he is elected Pope Urban VIII. After Galileo's 1632 publication of a treatise of a treatise that promotes Copernican cosmology, the now Pope Urban VIII, the now the Pope Urban VIII, he demands to his office. Pope Urban VIII acquiesces to the demands of his office. The Pope reluctantly allows the Inquisitor to interrogate Galileo. He convinces Galileo to, re to recant his theories. Mrs. Sati, the last character. Mrs. Sati is Galileo's housekeeper. She is the mother of Andri Sati. Initially, she doesn't approve of Galileo's teaching, Galileo teaching her son, but she she does remain loyal to her master throughout the play. She doesn't leave him even when the plague breaks out in Florence. Mrs. Sati is also companion to Galileo's daughter, Virginia. 
Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe the channel, click on the like button. For more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills, stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.